Best free videoing editing software no watermark is the topic of today's video. If you're new to the True Tutorial Tucker channel, consider going and subscribing down below right now because I upload loads of videos like this about software, so certain topics like video editing, graphic design, and so much more, which you're going to find helpful. And please go and leave a like as it just helps this video get out to more people. So in this video, I'm showing you the best editing software how to install it, where to find it, and then go and how to use it. So it's a really good video. I cover the full aspects, so I do recommend watching the full video. And if you have any certain questions, feel free to comment them and I'll try my best to reply to you. But yeah, that is the main topic for today's video. If you're ready for it, keep watching. And I do personally use this software as well, and I really do recommend it. But anyway, let's jump straight into this video. Now I'm on Google, as you can see, and we're revealing the software I'll be using. But once I show you this, do not click off and try and use it yourself, because in this video I'm showing you how to go and download it and how to use it which is pretty key because I'm showing you insane good effects and transitions to use which you probably won't find out if you don't follow this tutorial. So the software I'm using is called DaVinci Resolve. Now there is a paid and a free version as you can see here DaVinci Resolve 16 is the one we want. Uh, click on it there and we're now on the website. Now, as you can see it tells us a load of information about the software and about how good it is. You know all the cuts, edits, fusion, colors, flash. It's There's so much to it and it's so so good. So all we're going to do is quickly click on download like so. And as you can see, you've got these two options here. And you want to go through this one. This one you do actually have to pay for. The Disney Resolve 16 is absolutely free and it's insanely good. So all you want to do is click Windows and then you've got to fill in your information here. And what you've then you've got to do is click register and download. You downloaded it, go and install it, and then I'll catch you once you've gone and done that and we're in the software. DaVinci Resolve 16, and this is the first page you're gonna get once you first open it up. So as you can see, you've just got the on, on our title project here because I've already just tested it out quickly, but you currently have nothing here. So all you wanna do is come down here and click new project. As you can see, now you want to enter a name, so I'm going to quickly put in YouTube, just so I know it's for a YouTube video, and I'm obviously editing YouTube video. Then go and click Create, and now we're going to be loading up the whole software, and essentially what we're going to want, and now it's gone on to the wrong, the wrong one. But here we go, we're now here. So as you can see, it's quite a lot to take in, and I'm going to quickly break it down all for you. So down here is just the different um, pages, I guess, of the software. So you've got the media, cut, which you're currently in, edit, fusion, color, fair light, deliver. So in media, it's going to show up all our media. In cut, is where we can start cutting the video up, which is really useful, actually. And in edit, we're going to have a bit more of a bigger timeline, and it essentially allows you to add more tracks and other stuff like that. Now, fusion... Basically, it's more of a the page where you can add more other stuff, and I'm 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 semi unsure of fusion, but you shouldn't need to use it essentially. Um, color is where you can adjust sort of like the different the color of the video. I'll give an example, but if you can say you can just drag it around to if if you want to change the color or just add a bit of um shade to it. And fair light is just music, and deliver is where you want to save the video, which is commonly known as rendering. And you can add it to a queue if you want, or you can change settings here. Um, so yeah, it's really, really simple. So the first thing you want to do is come to cut. Now I'm going to show you how to edit this video using different types of clips. So I've got one where it's just me talking, but we've also got a gameplay video because I know everyone likes editing different stuff. So I want to make sure this video sort of suits everybody. So all you want to do is find your media in another um, in a finder. So as you can see here, I've just got my media, um, which is here my finder so i'm going to quickly find the video i want to drag in which is in here so or you can find it in the media um tab here but i personally prefer to just drag it in from my fire explorer so i've got the clip here simply going to drag it in it's going to show it there and then drop it and now it's going to have this so the clips are different frame rates in the current portrait setting so this is currently set to 30 fps and i i film my videos in 60 so it's going to put it down to 30 um so yeah it's up to you what um, FPS you have. It's pretty much it's smoother at 60, but if you have a slower PC, then I'd recommend going for the 30 FPS option. It's a lot easier. So anyway, now here we've got the software, and to move through the clip, I recommend using this one here, and the blue line is the whole video, so I can spin through like that. And hopefully you can hear the video. Um, I should be able to edit it so you hear it. So anyway, let's get straight into clipping this video up. So. Essentially, this is where the video will start, where I start speaking here. So I want to move along to where I actually start speaking because otherwise it's not going to uh, show. Um, I'm gonna, the video is going to click where I'm just holding it. And I want it to start where I start speaking, just like a normal video of mine, right? So all you want to do is find where it starts here. 
and then you want to go and do control and then backward slash boosh and as you can see we've now got that cut and if we click on them they're now separate videos so now I can come in here and delete it by pressing delete and now it puts it to the start of the video which is super super awesome so now when I first Yo, play the video is I start speaking which is obviously really good and then I want to do that for the end as well so I'm going to drag this all the way to the end and um, find where I start speaking if I can quickly drag it there let's continue editing like that so just about here this makes it kind of wild. You've got to get used to just, you know, dragging the cursor around. Like, it's different if you're new to editing. Um, and then go and do control backslash again. Boosh. And I want to delete that bit there. Pressing delete. And del, del is just delete on the keyboard, if I didn't say that before. So you can drag it like that, but I prefer doing this. It just goes faster through the project. So now we've got this. I've actually got other gaps in the video as well. Uh, so it might be a bit further on, so I'll use this one. So let's move through. To, so here's, here's a gap. out to see how overall the user so that's a get where i wasn't speaking because there's no volume there uh but here's a major one which i kind of did purposely for this video so all i'm going to do is simply do control backslash again and clip it boosh and then scroll along to where i start speaking again and do it again and now we've clipped that up we can click delete and then they magnetically go together which is why it's so easy and so fast to edit with this and now it just flows straight on so i'll play it for you overall the usability of it is and how easy to use boosh and then it's so so easy uh that's why i love this stuff so much so we've now got that first clip i'm gonna go through and check for other gaps which is here so I'm going to quickly do this. And as you get used to the software, you'll get a lot faster at completing it. And we'll do it again. Press delete. And we're making good progress. So I think that is the main stops I made in the video. Um, and as you can see, it actually shows it here, which is useful. So now I want to go and add a transition to the gap, basically. So as you can see, we can go along here and it's going to magnetically jump in, which is so helpful. And then to find transitions, you click on the transitions tab and it already lists them. So there are titles, effects, and we'll try these out in a minute. But I want to quickly put in a transition here. So all I'm going to go for is scroll down just like this. And we can go and have a look. So I think I want something which is sort of like a movement. So I'm going to go for a push actually. So drag that in here. And then you put it over at the gap. Because you could have it there but you want it in the gap. So now it's loaded in. And as you can see if we go back uh, a bit we can watch it go. It is and how easy it And that did take quite a while. And I want that to be a bit short. So all I want to do is grab it and you'll have this... Um, uh, your cursor change to this and then you can drag it to make it shorter so how many seconds you want so I want it pretty short just like that and then we can move back and we can see if we prefer it like that and how easy so that's perfect for me and now what I think is really cool to have is actually go and add in like a swoosh sound effect or a whoosh so I've got that here so I've got in my sound effects here and I'm gonna go for a I'm gonna go for a whoosh three and then drag that in down here and now I can line that up perfectly hold on and now up here grab it and you can simply move it along so i want it to be the sort of the whoosh to be i guess in the near the middle ish or near the start so just about there i've got it perfectly lined up and, and how easy to boosh that's perfect and i'm going to quickly play that to you so you could perfectly hear it of it is and how easy to use and that looks really good to me and i'm very happy with the outcome of that so that's how you put a simple transition in and it's really easy and also i just quickly figured out that you can go through this by using your mouse um scroll wheel so you can go through pretty easily but i do prefer just dragging it along because i have obviously you just can be a bit more precise with it so right the next thing i want to go and do is add some effects so what we're going to do is come to the effect tab and you can add blurs. So if you wanted to say blurs, so we can have a clip. So if I wanted to blur, let's say, just a little frame. So we're going to do control, backward slash, move along, do backward slash again. And now we've got this clip. So I've now made the clip and to drag an effect in, you simply come to the effects. Now some of these are premium, but a lot of them are free, which I like. So box blur is free. So I can black, dr drag that in, sorry, and boosh, we've now got a blurred clip. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you do that. Now, I think this is the main thing. I want to quickly go to the next tab, though. So that's pretty much cut. And as you can see here, you can be a lot more precise with movements of clips. Um, but cut is the more basic side of DaVinci Resolve. So here is easier. I mean, a lot of people find it subjective, like what you prefer. So this is more if you're advanced editing and you're used to it. But I'd recommend starting out of cut. And as you can see, you can um, move stuff more precisely in here. Like you can move that all the way and you can zoom in and out here. But anyway, it depends on what you like. And you, to zoom in and out, you do control, then uh, plus to go in and minus to move out. 
So that's sort of the main bit. We've got our sort of edit here. We've got where it goes is, blurry. How easy to and use. That's sort of the main part of the video. But what I want to show you next is how to go and add change the color of the clip. So as you can see, this is my video. And to change it, this is all the spikes. You can simply drag the curve to make it, if you want to change it, you know, this color, it'll make it more white. And if you want it to be darker, you go down here. So I quite like that effect actually. So I'm going to leave it like that. And then when I come back to edit, as and you can see, you how it's changed it all. But what I like about this is that it actually changes the specific clip you were on. So for example, this clip has got the darker bit, but over here, it still remains the same. As you can see here, it actually shows you the different clips you have. So I actually, what I did edit, I edited this one, and if I want to make it lighter, I can do that. Um, and if you want to do any specific, you can just simply move it like that. Super, super easy. So I want that to be pretty much normal, so I'll drag it back to where it was. So now you've done this, to go and render it, you click on Deliver. And now you can go and render it out by simply going render settings. You can go for custom or like 1080p for YouTube, which I really recommend these settings. So I'm going to go for YouTube test. Uh, if I can type YouTube test. And now all these settings can remain the same. And you want to then next you do add to render queue. And now it's going to tell us where you want to save it. Um, so all you want to do is save it to videos just like so. And it's now going to begin rendering. So that is pretty much it. And then it will start saving once you start render. And as you can see, it's now rendering out. And it's actually a really fast render time. So I hope you have found this video useful. If you have, smash a like. And I look forward to catch you in the next video. Peace.